Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make one of our new lantern ornaments. The one that we'll be making is the festive red and you can see how beautiful that looks. I've got this hanging from an ornament stand. It's got all the edges glittered and some beadwork to make it sparkle. So you can display these on ornament stands, trees, wreaths, whatever your preference is. Here's an example of the sapphire sparkle pretty blue one. These ornaments measure about two and a half inches across. And here's an example of the gold one. So we have ten different designs to choose from and you can see those on our website. So when you purchase one of these um, lanterns, <clears throat> what you'll receive is a downloadable PDF document and you print this out on cardstock on 8.5 by 11 paper and you can do this on your obviously on your home printer or you can take it to a copy or office supply store and have them do that for you. I like that because their their machines use a different process so you get more of a shiny finish on the paper. Now before I cut this ornament out I need to do some score marks and there's a document that comes with this that shows you ex the exact placement for each of the score marks. Essentially, it's wherever there's a tab, that's where you'll make a score mark so that you can fold it. So I use a steel ruler and I put it steel side down and then this has got like a cork backing on it so it's easy for me to hold. And I use this to make my score marks. Um, <clears throat> you can use any kind of tool that you prefer, scoreboards, if, if you have something like that. And wherever you see a tab, that's where you're going to make the mark. So I'm going to line up my ruler, just like that, and then I'm going to make my first score mark. Then I'll move down the page a little bit more, and I can see that I need to make them right here. And now you need to make a score mark in the center between these two blocks right here. Now the easiest way to line that up is line your ruler up with these three tabs. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I just need to make the score mark between those two connecting blocks. Move my ruler down, line up all these edges here. Then I'll come all the way down. Again, there's a document that accompanies the file that shows you exact placement for this. Now for me personally, I like to turn it around at this point. It's just easier for me to see the, uh, the marks. So I'll begin that process again on the reverse side. My first score mark. Line it up with these three to make that connecting score mark. Move it a little further down. Then from the top of the page all the way down to the bottom of the page. Okay, so that's all this side done and the other side. Now I'm going to turn the mat around and make those marks going on the reverse. So I've got these two tabs here. Line those up. Score mark and then I need to do in between here. Then I need to do in the center part, so I'll line it up with that tab. It's actually quite easy to see the center because of the, the kaleidoscope pattern. You'll have ones here and here and here. So use the edge of the square and go to this one. Then you do the in between. Next edge, next edge in between, you can use this one to line it up, and you'll do the edges here. So you can see that doesn't take very long. 
So that's all the score marks done. I don't know if you'll be able to really see it. Well, you can't see it on the back either. But like I said, there's a document that accompanies this. So now that that's done, the next step would be to cut away the white space from the ornament. Now you can do this a couple of ways. You can use scissors, or I like to use a craft knife. And I use my handy dandy ruler again. Just line it up on the edges. And then I'll make my cut marks. So there's, oops, didn't do it all the way to the edge. So there's my first one. So let me go ahead and finish cutting this out and then I'll come back and we'll fold all the tabs in. Okay, so I've got um, all the score marks in place and I've gone ahead and cut the ornament out from the white paper. So you can see this is what it looks like. And I had already started to fold the tabs. Now, the way that you fold the tabs is anything on the outside, any of these outside tabs, they fold inward. So you just go around your, your ornament and fold those all in toward the colored side of the ornament or the lantern. Okay, now once you've got that done, the center pieces here, the connecting pieces, they actually fold with the white side of the paper together. So I'll do that for all those. Just like this. So you can see this is all coming together just like a normal box would come together. So the next step will be to add the two-sided or the double-sided tape and then we'll join the, the lantern all together. So for uh, time's sake, what I had done is I've gone ahead and um, cut some tape out into the sizes that I'll need. And I put them on this, this little ruler here. I just gotta make sure this ruler does not touch anything that's sticky or that it can stick to. So the most essential places um, will be each of the tabs and then on one side of each of the folds. So what I like to do is I like to do the folds first. So I'll go ahead and put that one in. And then remember you've got to fold on the top. And this next connector. For this. And then the next connector. And then I'll go ahead and I'll add them to all the tabs. But I'm going to go ahead and put these together so you can see why I like to put the tape there. So I'm going to remove that piece of tape and just fold this on top of itself. Now you can see they should line up perfectly together. Okay? And when you open it up, this folds back on itself. And that's what creates the tab. So this tab on the ornament here. So we do that on both sides. And fold it back on itself. And then I'm going to add the tape onto the rest of those pieces before I assemble the final uh, ornament. So let me get that done and then I'll be right back. The next thing I would do before I start to stick all this box together is I would go back to the top of my ornament. So I've decided this will be the top and I'm going to put a hole right in the top here so that this is the, where I would add my hanging piece of thread. So it's very easy to see the center because it's a kaleidoscope. So I'll just go ahead and Pierce that hole. Does it really want to go in there? There we go. So I've got that in there, and then I'll use that, and I'll put uh, put that in there. 
So let's go ahead and assemble the rest of the, the lantern. So I'm going to begin by doing the middle or the connection parts. So I just remove my tape and again they'll fold in on themselves and it should line up perfectly with the one next to it. And then that folds out and that creates your tap. Make sure I've got my tape all the way down. here. So there's all the tabs. And then I'm going to connect these two ends together. This is a little trickier, but just, just hold one with your fingers and then gently just line that up and those two go together and then there's my top and my bottom. So I'm not going to seal this ornament because I still need to put the hanger in there and then I also like to put some beading on the bottom. That's just my preference but you could hang anything that you like there or, or not, that's up to you. And to finish the ornament off you would just seal these edges to the top, those edges to the bottom. Got the hanger in place. I've added a pretty little bead at the top. I've got some rhinestones going around. And then to apply the glitter on the edges, I take a small craft brush and I mix up some Mod Podge. Just put it in a little dish and then I paint around the edges and then I sprinkle the glitter. So I do that all around the ornament. That way, as it gently moves around, it, the glitter catches the light and you get a nice little sparkle between the glitter, the rhinestones and the beads. I think it makes a really pretty lantern ornament. So I hope you like this project and thank you for watching.